Welcome, it's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So today, we're going to just have a quick little chat about what we can do to learn to mind our business better. Now, I'm a little stuffy. The weather has gotten to me, so bear with me. But I want to definitely touch on how hard it is to actually just simply mind your business. Now, you might say, Persita, that's harsh. And of course, we're nosy. I mean, it's just what we are. Society leads us to want to know what's going on in people's lives so that we can literally have an opinion and be able to talk about it and gossip about it and do all those other things. And that's true. And we all fall susceptible to it in some form or another. But here's what's the trick that a lot of us are not paying attention. We talk about distractions and things of that nature, but we don't really identify that social media and journalism has learned to spin things in such a manner that even in your common sense, you don't find truth. And what I mean by that is sometimes you've just heard something so many times, it's been repeated so many times that it's caused you to try to believe it. And in that belief, you then cause yourself to feel as if you need to own it in some kind of a way. Prime example, we heard all about the gossip of, you know, let's just say the, the uh, Kardashian Wood scenario. You're hearing about the Jesse Smollett scenario. You're hearing about all of these things online. Here's the issue. We have to be clear on what exactly that does for us and our goals and our spirit throughout the day. Have you noticed that most of your conversation, once something sensational has hit, you talk about it all day? The crazy part is, is that that, that sensational news really only lasts for about three or four days. Trust me, actually try to time it in your head. The last gossip you heard about, think about when you heard it and think about how many days, <clears throat> excuse me, have passed. I bet that three to four days later, it's completely subsided and no one has an opinion about it anymore. And you might say, well, you know, I'm still thinking about it a little bit and you still hear this or that about it. You do, but it has nothing to do with you. And in the interim, there's so many things that have transpired and happened that you don't realize that you've lost that time talking about things and people who whatever and however their decisions are. If they're cheating, if they're not, if they're fall, firing false uh, reports or anything of the sort, it has no validity on your life. You pray for the person if that's your choice and you move on. But to actually think about those things all day is what causes that distraction that makes mining your business so much more difficult. Now you might say, well, how do you do it, Persita? I try to listen as quickly as I can, and then I literally put it in a shelf and go, what is that gonna do for me? Does that sound selfish? I hope so, because this is a self-preservation time in the world that you must take care of yourself. Your mind and your thoughts are your own. And when you give them to social media gossip and things of that nature, you must understand that you make your journey a little bit harder to get to where you're trying to go because that's time wasted time wasted. So minding your business is so key in your thought process because you just don't have enough room in your brain to process other people's lives, especially lives of people that you have no interaction with, no direct contact with, and nothing that you can do. It's just simply a way of listening to someone's problems and feeling better about your own, that it causes you to not move or make proper decisions or life choices because you're too busy talking about something that has nothing to do with you. Now, things that do have something to do with you, you want to be aware. If we were talking about something along the line of politics, as tricky as that is, there are some things that we should always be aware of. And we should make do with that knowledge to make whatever decision we can make from voting or getting the word out about that. Because that actually has a control over us all to some degree. And some might argue and go, my vote means absolutely nothing. They're not going to listen to me. No one does anything that they say they're going to do. And it's all rigged anyway. And that's your choice. My choice is to still be aware of those things. But even that, I won't let consume me. I can't be caught up in every single aspect of government because I've never been caught up in every single aspect of government. So there's nothing about me that is going to start this year. So what I'm saying is I still want to be aware of things that will be directly affecting me and other people I care about. But in the exact same breath, I have to mind my business. And I have to know that the hours that I am awake must have some sense of validity on what I'm trying to achieve and what my goals are. 
not how much gossip I know, not feeling better about my problem, not being distracted by other people's problems so that I feel better about my problem even, but really understanding that whatever problems I have, whatever issues I have, I wanna address daily and I want to absolutely solve as quickly and as efficiently and effectively as I possibly can. So mind your business, it's just that simple. Mind your business. If you take six months out of the year to find out something that needs to happen in your life and the other six months to actually execute, you cannot go wrong because you are putting yourself in a position of growth. And let's be real. Broken people cannot make successful situations, nor successful people, nor successful children, nor successful decisions. You cannot move properly broken. You must adhere your pieces together and do the best you can. So today we are affirming that we are minding our business. We're praying for people, we're wishing them hope and blessings, but we are minding our business. The best way to be a great citizen steward and believer is to be solid in your foundation. That is the absolute best way to live. My opinion, strong opinion, but it's the best way to possibly live. If I'm giving my all to me and I'm exuding my all to others, there's absolutely nothing that I cannot do prosperously or prosper prosperity driven and positive. So today, mind your business. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to live life authentic and have a blessed day. Oh, and I almost forgot. Remember to like, share, comment, pray over my videos, submit them out, tell the world about them, but make sure you hit that notification button so that you know when all the videos are dropping. Now, again, remember three things, live life authentic and have a blessed day.